and what the drivers say they fear most of all is a head-on collision with a blind tube mare. Personally, I think the management should round them up. Get rid of them. What's up, YouTube? So, uh, second in my series of reviewing my own uh, forays into the acting world, uh, this is the big one. Uh, Batman Begins, uh, this was 2002, I think, actually. Um, so, I uh, went for an audition for <coughs> a feature film, didn't know what it was. Um, I remember there was only one person in the room doing the audition. Usually there's quite a few. I don't know if that means anything. Um, they always film you when you do it and I had to jump up and down a lot and pretend I was in a riot and sort of shout at the police and stuff. Um, so anyway, I got the part. And um, so, so the film was Batman Begins, as I say, and a big Hollywood blockbuster. We were hired as, I think there was about 20, 25 of us. We were, I would describe as, we were glorified extras. Uh, so essentially none of us had any lines. Um, we were background artists, I guess. Uh, we did earn uh, sort of an actor's wage. Uh, we earned about 250 quid a day. Um, and the extras only earned about 50 quid a day. Uh, so we, we were on sort of equity minimum or something probably. Uh, but uh, anyway, it was Christopher Nolan, amazing director. Uh, Gary Oldman was there, I almost said Gary Rhodes. Uh, Gary Oldman was there on set. I saw him, I saw Katie Holmes. Uh, I touched, um, what's his name, Batman. Uh, uh, his name's escaped me at the moment. That's how famous he is. Uh, and um, yeah, and I'm in the finished film um, quite briefly. Uh, but I will show you that now. You can see my amazing acting talent and I'll talk you through this, uh, this amazing little clip you're gonna see. So let's dive uh, right in. And that was it. That's me. That's me. Wow. So uh, there I am, looking up, scared to the to the left. Um, and uh, I was on set for three days. Uh, doing this obviously not just this bit uh, there are other bits that um, either I'm not shown in or I'm I'm not recognizable I suppose uh, it's difficult obviously because I suppose you've got to have um, I look at that I mean, it's brilliant acting the way I look up in fear uh, you know obviously you're meant to have thousands of people in Gotham City and uh, you've only got I mean there was 25 of us there was probably about 20 extras um don't know how many people were there on other days uh i saw the batmobile as well that's quite good um christian bale that's his name uh <coughs> there was a bit where we had to go up to christian bale and sort of menace him uh and uh i managed to sort of touch his shoulder or something uh that was quite exciting but uh I, of course i was right at the back uh so you can't really see my face you can't really see the faces of anyone else either to be honest who was coming up behind him they're all in shadow um but uh, yeah, very exciting. Um, interestingly enough, it was, it was filmed in Bedford, uh, of all places, uh, at this huge uh, hangar where they apparently used to make the uh, air balloons for World, in World War II. Uh, absolutely enormous, must have been about a quarter of a mile long, this hangar, and enormously high, of course, as well. Um, and uh, there was like a full-size road down one side with car cars, lorries and stuff. Um, and they'd built part of Gotham City up to about four or five uh, stories high. Um, there was a little maze of streets that you saw a little bit there that we were sort of running around. Um, and uh, yeah, it was amazing. And 
I saw, yeah, the Batmobile, they got the Batmobile out at one point, they were driving that around uh, over at the another part of the set there. Um, yeah, Christopher Nolan was there. Of course, Christopher Nolan didn't talk to us. Um, the I think it was the second assistant director was the one who dealt with us, uh, the, the scum. Uh, and uh, I remember one of the stunts went a bit wrong. Uh, there's a sort of bad guy in the movie who um, uh, is sort of tracking down Batman and um, at one point there was meant to be all this steam come out and instead of steam lots of water came down and went on top of him and soaked him and uh, we all stood there laughing and uh, I think one of the assistant directors sort of said oh he may not find it funny you know <laughs> I just think yeah Hollywood twat uh, so yeah that was it really that's my brush with Hollywood uh, three days on set bit of money um, quite nice uh, to get that but uh, it was all over very quickly um, I earned a small amount if I'd even had one line uh, I probably would have been paid 20 or 30 thousand quid um, so it just makes you realize how much money is spent on these films um, but uh, it was a pleasure. I did get to see some amazing actors. Actually, got to see them in action, uh, acting, uh, which was which was very exciting. And got to see how a Hollywood blockbuster's made. And uh, but I wasn't put in the credits. They did say they'd try and do that, but it didn't happen. But I'm not bitter. Don't nobody go nowhere. And in a statement issued just 10 minutes ago, the Home Secretary announced that he personally will be going into the tunnels this weekend armed with a special gun.